Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you can hear the fan, I do apologise, it's just really, really muggy um, at the moment here, even though it's now raining. Well, it's not raining now, but it has been raining, say. This is a box of pens that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. So let's open it up and have a look. I love that. You can hear them rattling around. It's a good box, actually. I will probably keep this box as I make a mess of opening it up. It's, it's a good sized box for sending stuff in. Now, here we go. Oh, and they are the lovely Pro Markers. Now, I'm assuming this is the old um, label. Le Letra set Pro Markers. So, we've got lots of different colours, no numbers on them though. But shall we have a look and see what we've got and how many we've got and then we'll get a swatch and we'll write the names down and swatch them. So we've got one. Let me move, move, move. let me tip them out of the box and then I'll tip them back in the box. I've never heard of Lestrat Pro Markers. The only ones I've heard of are Winter Newson. I wonder if this is what they used to be called. Yeah. I'll have to look it up. So we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Hmm. 34, 35, 36, 37, 8, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, so 60 pens and cost me £30 with shipping which makes each pen 50 pence as long as they all work now obviously I don't know twin tip so yeah we've got a, a, a thing tip here looks like they are working obviously we would normally store them on their sides like this to stop them from running out this this is a yellow of some described sunflower very nice I will go and get a swatch sheet and then what we're going to do is we will swatch them out, we'll write down the colour numbers, satin, Ooh. all the colour names, they have got numbers so we'll have a look at it and um, I'll see what we can see what, what they look like when we've got them swatched. Okay so I'm still looking at these pens, I've sorted them out into sort of colour families, I've got all the yellows together, what's that burgundy, all the red reds together, all the purplies, lilacs together, the greens and so on. So I've just been having a, a bit of a look on the internet about this Letra set. They sort of made, ma the majority of things they made are like stencils for maths and, and things like that. But they did make pro markers and then at some point, and I don't know when I haven't been able to find it out because I haven't really looked, I could look into it, Windsor and Newton took over this letter set and uh, renamed them Windsor and Newton Pro Markers. They are looking very very similar, in fact they're exactly the same shape. This is the letter set one on the top, this is the Windsor and Newton. Some of them even have the same names, I don't know how many, I'm going to have a look at my Windsor and Newton swatch chart to see. The only difference is the Windsor and Newton do have a colour number on the bottom these ones don't and they don't always have a colour number so this one has and it's the same colour number this is the same name this is both soft peach so if you remember I bought this one because I needed a peach I got another one though I'm not complaining so and I have the same number which is where's it gone I can't see it on this one being left-handed it's always on the wrong side uh, 0138 so I'm going to look through and see which of the 
Letter Set Pro markers have the same name as the Winsor Newton because I think that'll be fun and they're probably identical markers so people that bought Letra Set when they were taken over by Winsor Newton and people didn't know they'd been taken over were a bit confused because they were getting sent Winsor Newton Pro markers not Letra Set but they're exactly the same pens so that's good to know so now I've got two peaches this one cost me £3.50 this one cost me 50p. That's assuming everything works. There were four blenders in there. Now I don't use um, colourless blenders, alcohol marker blenders for blending alcohol markers or anything like that. I actually use them for blending pencils. So I'm really glad to have another uh, four of those. I'm just putting my peach back in its box. So I'm going to get a swatch chart now and I'm going to write the names down and have a look. I'm pretty sure there's some colours that might be the same. I'm going to have a quick look and, and see what I can see is the same as when I'm doing that. So I'll be back in a minute and we'll do that swatching. Okay, so here we go. I've got the swatch charts. And I'm just going to have a quick look at the colours. And then after what I'm going to do is compare the names to the pro markers. And, and I can swatch them on the pro marker swatch because they are the same. Also where I've got two pens that have the same number, such as, I think it was Sunflower, or one of those, or Buttercup, one of those, and Soft Peach, I will then compare them as well. But for now, let's swatch the greys. Let's see if these work. Sorry, they're just all rolling everywhere. So this is Cool Grey 3. I'm just going to zoom it nice and tight in. Sorry. Oh, it's all the way. That's fine then. And that works. Whether or not it'll work for long, I don't know, but there doesn't seem to be any issue with that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it down a bit so that it, it gets a bit closer in. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, it's harder here because I'm doing it on the bed, just because I've got space here. So that was cool grey three. This one is cool grey four. Yeah, I'm, I'm colouring really fast and it seems to be fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Oh, I love the smell. This is Cool Grey 2. So it should be lighter than Cool Grey 3, but it, it is slightly, I think. This is the black. I think this is black, yeah, black, yeah. Like I said, I'm not doing them in... Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. And if you're anything like me, black is one of those colours you use a lot and they run out a lot. So brilliant. This one's actually called Winter Spruce. It might be a greeny grey, I think. Oh, it's, it's a nice grey, actually, yeah. Hint of green in it. Greeny grey. Then I've got Cool Grey 1. Yeah, that's these are so far, there is no issue with these. This one is a light one. Might be on the way out. Let's try the other side. If that one doesn't work, it's not a major. Oops. Oh no. I think it's fine. It's just the way it's been stored, probably. So that's fine. Then I've got Cool Grey 5 nothing wrong with this here i don't use gray a lot this one appears to be i'd say running out let me have a look at the other side then again it might be just the way they've been stored so i'm gonna keep them for now cool gray three i think that's a duplicate i think we've got two threes but fine they are all working all right now I'm going to move on to the greens. I've got quite a few greens here. This one is pressed leaf. Oh, that's a nice sort of yellow green. Again, this one looks like it's been used a fair bit and is running out, but let's have a look at the other side. It's fine the other side, so we'll keep it for now. Then we've got this soft green. Oh, yeah. That's nothing wrong with this one. So the, the seller did say that some of them had been used um, and some of them hadn't. So it's just a matter of 
going through them and seeing what this is a dark olive I think yeah olive green yeah that's fine I mean when you colour fast with them like that sometimes it looks like they're running out even when they're not because um, I always tell Jennifer to slow down because she colours fast and says the pen's running out and then I take it off further and I'm like no it's not and then I, I do this and it's fine this one is meadow green so it's a very nice pale green Let's look at that this one is pear green this I think is one of the newer ones because it's got a sort of plasticky coating on the um, the label some of them do so yeah there's nothing wrong with that so even if there's a couple there that are on the way out, I'm not bothered, they seem to be working okay. This again is a newer one and this one's called Apple. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, that's a nice green. I don't particularly use the big end of the nibs, generally, the big nibs. Blue, we've got powder blue. Again, this one is one of the older ones, so it as you can see when I do that, it looks like it's running out, so, Oop! and it might well be, so I'm not worried about it. For the price I got them, less than a pound each, you know, but the, the this side's fine, so I wonder if they've been actually stored like that rather than like that. I will now store it like that because I prefer the proper nib. Um, pastel blue this is one of the older ones as well and it may be that they're trying they're drying out because they haven't been used and I think what you can do is put a drop of them um, as proper alcohol in them and it'll that's fine I've wrong powder blue look that ah, nice or what color is it as you, yeah pastel blue uh, then we've got this one. This one looks like a nice colour. This one is called Solstice Blue. So, go here. Oh, yeah. See, this one doesn't look like it's been used at all. So, yeah, this is a colour I would probably use. <laughs> I'm a bit odd like that, you know. And this one is called Hearth Hearthstone. Again, this is a blue grey but it's very nice okay and we've got frosted jade yeah so uh, yeah for, for the price I'm really quite happy with these like I said they're probably they're not gonna last long because they've been you know they've obviously been used this is a newer one and this one is China blue Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Then this one is Midnight Blue. This one looks like the nibs coming out, but uh, there's nothing wrong with the ink. Plenty of ink in there. Possibly she's put some alcohol in them, I don't know. Maybe, no, it's not. It's my imagination. Next one again, this is a newer one, Blue Pearl change the battery on the camera soon, that's nothing wrong with this one. Frozen Lake. Yep, yeah, that's nice. And again, this is one of the older ones, but it, it's working without any issue. So, yeah, I think there are probably a few that won't last long, but generally, I think they're going to be all right. Cornflower. That's a nice one. See this bottom one here, this ice, icy colour would be good for snow. And then tea green. I don't know why it's in with the blues, but because it looks more blue than green to be fair. Oh wow, that's very light again. Although it says tea green. I mean, it looks like an icy blue. Cool. Yellows. Uh, buttercup. 
again this is working yeah it's quite a fast no issues with that lovely tulip oh that is gorgeous yellow can you see look at that color I love it this one is called vanilla that's really nice yellowy pinky color that is gorgeous too. I'm just going to change the battery in the camera because it's about to run out. Okay, the next one we've got is called Sleigh Bell, which is, I think, a really weird name. But I like it, and it's sort of, oh, Like a melony or yellowy orangey kind of colour almost. I like that colour. And then we've got sunflower very nice that's a gorgeous warm yellow isn't it and then we got gold I know there is one called gold in the Windsor and Newton Pro Marker set so that'll probably be one we um, compare let's do the browns now this first one is called firewood is a gorgeous but look at the way that these are really nice these are I would definitely <clears throat> I mean I love the Windsor and Newtons I'm not gonna lie these are obviously the forerunner this color is called satin so I think this is a very very pale almost almost invisible sort of a pearl color yeah, but see if we get a bit more ink out of this side, yeah. There's nothing wrong with this one either. Sort of a pinky sort of colour. <coughs> Cinnamon. That's one of the ones as well. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Caramel. Now this one looks like it's been used a fair bit but it's still coming out pretty well especially when I'm doing it slowly but there's nothing wrong with that one this one is tan Let's have a look at excuse me oh it's a dark oh that's nice yeah again nothing wrong with that one like I said, I don't expect them to last a long time, but I didn't spend a lot of money on them. Caramel. Nothing wrong with this one. Lovely. If this one is a burnt umber, again, I think this is a colour in the Pro Marker. That's almost like a very wine red. I like that. Another light coloured one here, which is putty. I have a feeling that's one as well. This is one of the newer ones as well. Yeah. So as you can see, nothing wrong with that. And then we've got burnt sienna. Oh, gorgeous colours. Like I said, as long as you're doing them slowly, there's still plenty of ink in them. <coughs> On to the pinks. First one is baby pink. Well, yeah, that's nice. That is gorgeous. That is such a nice pink. And then this one is, this is the soft peach. See, now I've just pulled the top off and it, it's actually come off like that, so... I can see this one has been used. Oh, I'm not too worried about this because I've just bought a soft peach, but there's still plenty of ink in it. This is one that I will be comparing. And this one is antique pink. I think that's a colour in there as well. But I don't think it's as 
almost as red. Now this one looks like it's been used a fair bit because you can see. But let me take it off and have a look at it. But this is one of the older ones to be fair. But there's still plenty of ink in there, look, like, because there's plenty in the um, other nib. <coughs> New one, a dusky rose. This is a colour that is in the Pro Marker by Windsor and Newton because I was going to use it on. Uh, the diner's picture that I've been colouring I haven't finished yet because I haven't had a chance to film a colouring chat and I'm pretty sure that it was called Dusky Rose I was going to use. So these are pinky, pinkies going to lilacs and purples. The next one is pale pink. Again this is one of the newer ones by the feel of the label. Mm. Nothing wrong with it lovely now this next one is called orchid yeah nice and iced pearl hmm I like that This next one is called Trick or Treat. I think this is a very nice colour. Nice magenta y pinky, reddy, purpley. <laughs> right. Next. I have Lilac itself. Oh, that's nice. I'm always struggling for a lilac. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Okay, the next one is called Lavender. So let's have a look at Lavender. It's a lot lighter, similar. But, oh. So nice. These are beautiful. Just got to keep an eye on the time because I do have to put dinner on for Jennifer in a minute she's out at Taekwondo what's the next one plum oh, look at that that is absolutely gorge oh I love that color <laughs> I'm actually really pleased with these even if I've got a few that are going to run out very quickly which I can see that there are a few purple next oh look at that the ones that I've got like these, this is full of ink and I don't think this is going to run out very quickly. It's beautiful. I mean the Pro Markers in the um, Orange and Newton, I don't use them that often but uh, I do use them. This one is Aubergine. Ooh, that is a dark, dark purple. Nice. Then we've got Sugar Plum. Another dark purple. Almost identical to the previous one. But absolutely stunning. Now we're on to the reds. So we're going to do uh, this one first, which is burgundy. This is one of the new ones. Newer ones. Oh. Now that's a nice red. I like that. The next one's called Red Sweater. Yes, I know. That's quite nice. Okay. And the last one is Crimson. And again, red's my favourite colour, so I'm really hopeful that this is still full of juice. Yes, it is. This does not feel like it's been used. Sometimes you can tell by how hard the tip is that there's been no weight pushed on it. That is my favourite shade of red. Okay, I'm going to get the um, <clears throat> Winter Newton Pro Marcher swatches out and have a look to see how different the names are or if there's a lot the same. Let me just check. So here are the, two, the uh, Winsor and uh, Newton ones. We don't need this the second one, there's two sheets because this is literally the brights, uh, the neons and the metallic. So 
there's none of those in there so we put that one out of the way but we do need this one oops okay and so I can see here already buttercup uh, sunflower tulip yellow are on there uh, vanilla is on there so let me just grab one this one is gold I'm pretty sure gold is on here yeah gold is 0555 on there but doesn't have a number on here so I'm going to put this one to one side because I know it's in the box I've already got that one and I'm going to compare them a bit later on so this one is crimson so where are my reds R445 is crimson and this has a number of R445 so I am actually going to just pop this in here because I can always print off another one of these so I'm going to fill that in oh there we are and what will happen is I'll resort my pro markers and add these to the promo marker box for now I'm just going to pop it in there out of the way so blue I've got one called China blue B736 doesn't have a number but as I'm going to just fill in the gaps because because I can the only problem I have with these is there is no number on the bottoms so I'm going to get some acrylic paint markers and put a number on there uh, this one is right we've got tea green let's see if tea green's on here All right, so I'm going to do this off camera very quickly um, and then what I'll do is I'll show you the newly filled in ones. I've only added one so far, two, two so far. Um, and then we'll do a comparing like for like Pro Marker, Winsor Newton to Pro Marker Letra Set. I have to look at it because I keep wanting to say Lestrade, which is of course the police officer in Sherlock Holmes. I will be back in a bit. Okay, so here we are. This is it updated. Um, there are 21 new colours that are on this sheet. I've got one colour here, which it's called Baby Pink, and it's R228. Now, when I look on this sheet, R228 is light pink. But when I look at the list of... Um, Pro markers they also have a baby pink but that's not on this page so not sure about that then I also have I got two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve that aren't uh, no eleven sorry that should be in there um on the list at all and this is because these are limited edition ones that Pro Marker put out um so they're not actually on there. They've all got limited edition on them. So what I will do is I will get a another a swatch chart, swatch these with their names on it, and put them uh, in in the box with the pro markers. Um, I have quite a few duplicates, which I am not bothered about. It's just this this baby pink. I'm just going to put those back in the card box for a minute which says it's R228 but when I look at R228 that says light pink and pale pink is 519 so I don't know whether or not they changed the um, colour number so I've put that in the box now with the limited edition ones I am going to get a swatch chart and I'm going to show you what the letter set pro markers look like when I've got the matching colour in the Windsor and Newtons. Because you can still get the, the letter set ones on eBay in packs of like 7 or 12. Um, so you can still get them. So I might get some more when I've got a bit more money. But... Uh, 
Let me just uh, sort this out, won't be a sec. Did I? Okay, so we're going to do one of these one at a time. We're going to do Windsor and Newton on the top, Letra set on the bottom. So we'll start with black, just because I've got it in my hand. This is the Windsor and Newton Pro Marker. Now black I don't expect there to be much difference about. To be honest, I wouldn't have thought so. But just so that we're doing everything fair, we will do that one as well. I'll leave a little gap in between. Just because it's black, so. There you go. Then we've got Cool Grey 2. So again, Windsor and Newton on the top. Electroset on the bottom. So this is the Windsor and Newton Cool Grey. And this is the Letra Set Cool Grey. I don't see any difference so far. Do you see any difference? That's the Letra Set. Uh, then I've got Cool Grey 4. Again, both Letra Set and Windsor and Newton. So let's do Windsor and Newton first. The Windsor and Newton one. And this is the Letra set. The smell is beautiful. There we go. No difference so far from what I can tell. So this one is Burnt Sienna 0324. My 0324. The only difference on this is my 0324 um, Burnt Sienna is a brush marker rather than a, 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 a tip. So uh, and that's just because of the way I purchased them. So I don't know if there'll be any difference. Sometimes I get them. It just depends what I pick up in the store if I'm in the shop. So there's the Pro Marker. Now this one looks different, but it might be literally just because one's a brush and the other one's a tip. That's the difference. I don't know if you can see the difference. I can see a slight difference. Can you, can you see it? Slight difference. It's the same one, Burnt Sienna. So next I've got green G817. Where is 817? Here it is, and this is soft green. Also, obviously, the Pro Markers, the Windsor Newton ones that I have, are much newer than the Letra set. So, <coughs> from what I found out, is Letra set was taken over by Windsor Newton or the company that owns Windsor Newton, and was put under their banner in 2012. So I don't know when they stopped using the Letra Set name, but it could well be that these are markers 12 years old. So that could be why there's a slight difference in the pigment. But saying that, this green does not look any different to me. So I'm, I'm thinking it literally might be just that one colour at the moment. Next one is Apple. G338. There it is. Now it looks slightly different now it's drying, but again, like I said, it might be simply due to the fact that these, I mean, 2024, if these came out at the very latest 12 years ago, they're 12 years old, so. Green. Let's have a look at this one. There's not a lot of difference in the pigmenting by the look of it. This is one of the later ones. You can tell that because the later labels have a shiny feel to them. Yep, not a lot of difference there. 
So it does look like they are pretty much the same. Let's have a look at Putty 0618. There it is. All right, so this is the Windsor and Newton. I would happily buy Electra set from, again, from somebody if I was to see them anywhere. There's certainly nothing wrong with them. Right. Here we go. Now this one is Olive, which is Y724. That's going to be here. There it is. Gotcha. I like an olive green. So this is the Windsor and Newton one. I do just think it's quite fascinating to see if there is any difference um, in the pigment and it could be caused by time. It could be. Um, it could just be that they've changed the formula slightly since they were made by Letraset. Now, Letraset on eBay in the UK are quite cheap. You can still find them under that name on Amazon, but when you look a bit further down, it does say brand Windsor & Newton. So that, to me, looks, looks identical. Oh, somebody's doing something. There's always somebody making a noise. G339 Meadow Green. There it is. It's quite easy to find. So, let's have a look. There's always somebody doing something noisy outside in the street, in our, in our back gardens. There we go. That's the Windsor & Newton. This is the electric set. So it's easy to see that they are pretty much identical. Absolutely no issues at all with them. The next one I've got here is the Plum V735. V, where's Plum? There it is. Plum. Here we go. Put that there, man. So Windsor and Newton first. Again, this is one of the more modern electro sets I can tell by the, the label. Now that looks slightly darker to me. Does that look darker to you? It does look like a slightly different shade, doesn't it? I mean, it's not that much different, but there is a little slight difference. This one is now antique pink, R346. Where are you? Let's have a look this this one. There we go. Nice. It's a nice colour, mind. I do like it. I do like these markers. I don't use them that often because they are expensive to replace. So obviously now I've got a few duplicates or dupes. I'm quite happy to. Let's have a look, see how different, or if it is any different. It doesn't look much different to me here. This one looks like it might actually be running out, so I'm not too worried about this one. Yeah, I'll probably put this in my used up marker box because it's not coming out as I would like it to. Um, there is plenty on that side, so I'm just wondering, is it the way it's been stored? Slightly darker, but not a lot of difference. Next is 047 Cinnamon. That one. So this is always interesting, especially when one brand has been taken over by another brand. And yeah, give it another colour. There we go. Just drop it in. I will sort them out in the box so that they're in some sort of order so I can put the limited edition ones in there as well. 
they've got some lovely colours in the limited editions. Again, doesn't look much difference, does it? Uh, caramel 77. So I'll turn you off while I look for it, it won't be a sec. My mistake, 077 actually was a duplicate of a duplicate. That's fine. Next one, Sunflower Y156, which is why I can't find it because they don't have anything on the blinking ends. I would have noticed straight away. 156, here it is, Sunflower. Sorry, sunflower? Yeah. So let's have a look, here we go. I like this colour by the way. Uh, there we go. I think my sunflower is running out. I think I've used it quite a lot. Let me try the other end. Even though I store them upright the other way, there will be some still in this end. There we go. There we go. Sunflower. At least I've got a spare. <laughs> ah, there you go. I will keep using mine though. I, what I do is I use the ones I've got until they literally run out completely. Um, uh, and I use both ends. That's the only time I ever use the end. Burgundy R424. This is the one I couldn't find because it's in where I wasn't expecting it to be. But I did find it in the end. So I'm glad I got an extra 20 odd colours and that really odd pink one which is confusing the heck out of me because the, the colour number doesn't match the name. Of course it is a pro marker from Electroset rather than from Windsor & Newton but every all, all the others have matched. So I'm going to have to do a bit more investigating on that and I'll let you know in a, a colour and chat. So there we go. But as you can see, there's not a lot of difference between these colours, is there? So this is the soft peach. This is the one I bought the other day. So 0138. So let's have a look at the difference. Quite happy to have another one because like I said, I go through peach like there's no tomorrow some days. Sorry. It's not the best setup, I will admit. I'll have to start filming in the other the other room. It's not always easy though because of the way everything's set up in that room. The cat's having a wander. I think she's going to come over. Let's have a look. Looks pretty much the same to me. Not a lot of difference at all, which is great. Um, oh God, we've got a few more over here. We've got Tan 0528. Here it is. marker. This is the Pro. This is Windsor and Newton. And that one in there. Oops. There it is. And this is the Letra Set version of the same colour. Ah, that looks slightly different. Slightly pinker, the uh, Letra Set one, I think. And we've got three left. So let's do this yellow one, which is Buttercup, I think. Which would be this one. Is that that one? Buttercup. Again, we'll do the Windsor & Newton first. I can't believe I can't get in any closer. I'm going to have to start doing it in the other room. That's a cup. This is a very nice light yellow. There we go. That's the Windsor & Newton one. And the Letraset version is not very different at all. It's pretty much the same. Maybe slightly yellower. But that's not hardly anything, is it? So these are really good. The next one is Pear Green. Y635. Oh, I hand on it. Pear Green. There's only two more. I 
I like that colour green. By the way. And now the Letroset version. There we go, let that dry off. And finally gold, which is number... Well, oh, it doesn't have one. Is it this one? Nope. Go find it. Right, let me switch this off while I see if I can find it. Here we go, I found it. I don't know why, sometimes they're hard to find. But, uh, yeah, here we go. So I think that's the gold in the Windsor and Newton. This is the gold in the Letra Set. I prefer the Letra Set gold to be honest. It's more yellowy. It's definitely slightly, slightly different. So those are all the duplicates. Let's just have a quick look. Can you see the difference? And some of them, yes, there's a difference in the gold. This sort of purple one, the burgundy one. Buttercup, it's not buttercup, um, sunflower. Um, let me have a look. The, this, uh, sienna, the burnt sienna one. But overall, the colours are very much like the original Windsor and Pro Marker, so I'm quite happy to have the mixed in with my Windsor and Newton, the Letra Set ones. Quite happy to have them mixed in, that's not a problem at all. Um, really happy with this buy, I mean for £30 I got um, 61 in all, 21 new colours, uh, 4 blenders, some dupes and some of the original Letra Set limited edition colours which I think is amazing so I'm just going to go and sort them out and then we'll colour with them in another video at some point but I hope you've enjoyed this comparison video and swatching of the Letra Set Pro Markers and how they compare to the Windsor & Newton Pro Markers uh, seeing as Windsor & Newton took over the company in 2012. It's been really interesting to see that there's not a lot of different in the shading. Some of the colours, yes, you can see a difference but it's very, very minimal especially when they've dried. Very minimal. I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, comparing the video the videos comparing the pens if you have leave me a comment down below let me know what you think you can get letter set second hand on eBay sometimes they're in the original packaging have a look they'd be worth picking up if you can get them absolutely no question they're really nice pens because they are basically the same as Windsor and Newton because Windsor and Newton just took them over and basically rebranded the exact same shape right down to the little nibble here they're identical barrels so I would imagine that when Windsor and Newton took over there was a load of these barrels left over and all they did was change the label that's that, that's how I'm going to uh, assume so anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you again very, very soon. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.